Premiere Pro has several complex effects and transitions that can be added to clips in your project panel and sequences. But if you're in a collaborative workflow with motion graphic and VFX artists, sometimes After Effects is needed. Let's see how we can send clips from Premiere over to After Effects using Adobe Dynamic Link. As you can see, I have a sequence open in my timeline containing a clip that has two markers on it. These markers were added by selecting the clip and hitting the M key at the various locations. In order to send this clip over into After Effects, I'm going to select it, and I'm gonna head over to my file menu, and under Adobe Dynamic Link, I'm gonna select Replace with After Effects Composition. A dialog box is gonna open up, triggering me to name my new After Effects composition. Here on the desktop, I can see that I already have a folder called AE Comps. Let's give this a name. I'll call this Premiere Pro to After Effects. Once I press save, After Effects will open up and inside the timeline, I can see the clip containing the two markers that I added to in Premiere. If I go back over into Premiere, we can see that the clip has been replaced with an After Effects composition directly within the timeline. Let me go back into After Effects and inside After Effects, we're going to add an effect onto the clip. Over in the Effects and Presets area, I wanna hit the tilde key in order to make this full frame. And we can see here that there are a, a ton of animation presets at the top. If I hit the Disclosure Triangle, some of these animation presets are meant for text, where it allows you to create character-by-character -character animation. For this case, we're gonna go under the Image Special Effects category, and we're gonna to choose to add some light leaks at the layer markers we created in Premiere Pro. To add the effect, I'm going to double click it and it's applied to the clip in my timeline. If I move over the marker position, we can see the light leak that has been triggered at the marker location. I'll move to the next marker to show that. Even better, if I go back over into Premiere Pro, we can see that the effect has carried over without us actually even having to save. Now, what happens if you close out After Effects and you want to go back into it to make a change to the clip? In Premiere Pro, you simply select the clip and go over into the Edit menu, choosing to edit the original. Once we do, it will open up After Effects and we can apply any changes that we want. In the effect controls area over on the upper left hand side, I'm going to go under the solid composite effects and change the color of this light leak. I'll click on the square and choose to change the color. And as we can see, it's been applied to the light leak. I'll also just make a change to the flash width, increasing it in size. If I go over back into Premiere Pro, we can see that that change takes place without us having to press Command S or Control S on a PC in order for it to carry over. As in sending over to After Effects is straightforward, we can also send an audio clip or clips over into Adobe Audition. Simply select the audio clip and by Control or right clicking, we can get a contextual menu where we can choose to edit the clip in Adobe Audition. And that's how we send audio files over to Audition as well as clips over into After Effects by way of Dynamic Link.